Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the CERN internship. And this is an internship opportunity which is open to students who are doing their bachelor's and master's degrees. And as some of you may know, CERN is an organization in Geneva, Switzerland, which essentially works on particle physics and nuclear research. So CERN is actually the European Organization for Nuclear Research and the reason it's called CERN is because they have given a French name to it and so in French the acronym comes out as CERN. Now let's look at this scholarship in more detail. One of the good points is that this internship is open to students of all nationalities. So this is unlike the TAD rice internships which I have discussed before which are open only to people of selected countries such as US, UK, Canada and Ireland. So let's look at the details of this CERN student program. Now this is a summer internship for students doing their bachelor's or master's degrees in physics, computing, engineering and math. So these are the four disciplines which you should be doing your bachelor's degree in. So the fact that physics, computing, engineering and math is given means that it is open to a wide range of di disciplines. For example, you can be in any of the engineering type of fields and you can apply for this internship. Now what you do is that you join the day to day research with teams doing experiments at CERN in Geneva, Switzerland. And this internship is multidisciplinary it is a multicultural stay which is extremely enriching personal experience for the students concerned now what you gain through this is the valuable and lifetime contacts and networking not only with the other students who are there during this time doing internship but also with the researchers and scientists at CERN who are some of the most intelligent people in their area in the world and you get to do this in a nice locale such as Geneva, Switzerland. Now what happens is that the summer students work with experimental teams and they also go to a series of lectures or seminars which are given out by different researchers working in the different fields. So essentially these scientists come from all around the world and they share their knowledge on a plethora of topics. Typically these topics include particle physics as well as computing. Now do remember that just because CERN is mostly concerned with particle physics doesn't mean that all the internships are available only in particle physics. They actually need to do a lot of work in different engineering disciplines especially using computers and so on. So you can apply whatever your field may be as long as you are in the broad domains of physics, computing, engineering and math. So that's something to remember. Now during these lectures they cover particle physics aspects both theoretical and experimental and they also give a lot of talks on computing. So these are the primary focus of this internship. Now during this period you are also going to visit the different facilities which are out there such as the accelerators and so on. There are going to be discussion seminars, workshops and poster sessions where you are going to learn a lot. So essentially what they have done is they have set up a whole infrastructure of activities so that people who are going to this CERN internship will benefit a lot not just by working with the particular supervisor and his or her team but also taking part in some of these collegial type of activities through which knowledge transfer takes place very effectively. Now at the end of the visit you are supposed to prepare a short report and this report has to be submitted to CERN about the work you have done during this period. So if you are somebody who has been working on some of the interesting projects at CERN and your supervisor is working on a large team it may even be possible for you to get your name in some publication for example. Now the minimum period for this internship is 8 weeks or about 2 months and the maximum is 13 weeks or about 3 months. So essentially 2 to 3 months and this internship takes place between June and September. So this is the time when you need to be present at this particular internship location. Now some more interesting things are the fact that they are going to give you a stipend and travel support. Now the stipend rates ranges from about 1500 Swiss francs per month, sometimes it may be more than this also. 
and the stipend is enough to cover your living expenses in Geneva, Switzerland. Do remember that in the Sound campus you can very easily take part in all the different activities. There are nice restaurants there, there are places to eat and then there is a library and so on. So you have excellent computing facilities and all the different things concerned and they are going to make any arrangements of visa and so on if you need that. So essentially the letter you get will help you easily get the visa for the CERN internship. So essentially this is a very good program though I should say that it is competitive. Of course you should have a reasonably good GPA and it would be good if you have some level of seniority. So I always recommend to people that if you are applying for an internship do that after your second year. So maybe somewhere in your end of your second year is a good time and remember this internship is also open for master's degree students so this is a huge advantage there are a lot of people doing master's degrees in these stem type of disciplines and they all can consider applying for the CERN internship so if you are interested in this i will give you a link in the description box and you can go there and you can search out the different things and you can prepare an application for this internship what will happen is that the details will go to the different supervisor at CERN and then they are going to select some of these interns and they are going to communicate with the people directly. So do remember as soon as you join your college try to write a good CV out, try to get good grades in your courses, try to master the English language as far as possible and also try to take courses which prepare you to be a reasonably good expert in things such as mathematics and computing because these two disciplines math and computer science are the bedrock of everything so one thing you need to know is basic engineering math or basic applied math and the second thing you need to know is actually computing especially some programming languages such as python julia or c++ so make sure you know some of these programming languages and math because that is going to make you very marketable and also if you are somebody who has a decent background in physics quantum mechanics and so on that's also always going to help so if you are going to take some courses in your bachelor's degree try to take a course in physics in some of the areas such as quantum mechanics and all because you never know that may be useful for you later when you study quantum computing for example so that was my video on the CERN summer intern. I hope you benefit from this video and do like my videos and share the channel with other people who may also benefit. So I'll end this video here and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.